Good evening and welcome. I'm J.D. Roberto, and this is Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People. This is the show that cuts to the chase. You are not going to hear any bad versions of Aretha Franklin songs. You will not be forced to endure any mediocre stand-up comedy because we don't care if you can dance, sing, or tell jokes. All we want to know is one thing. Are you hot? For months, our casting experts have scoured the country to bring you the sexiest people in America. Now, you may not always think that our competitors are quite that hot, but the important thing is they think they are. <laughs> we have divided the nation into four hot zones, each one representing a different geographical region. Tonight, we focus on the Northeast, Hot Zone 1. Over the next four weeks, the top contenders from each hot zone will face our panel of experts. No detail will go overlooked, and no criticism will be left unsaid. So let's get started by meeting our experts. Fashion designer to the stars, Randolph Duke. Supermodel, Rachel Hunter. And international heartthrob, Lorenzo Lamas. Well, let's have a look at our contestants from Hot Zone number one. Each contestant has already appeared before our panel of experts and been prejudged for this round to see if they're hot or if they're not. Let's take a look at the results of that prejudging round right now. A 30-year-old massage therapist from Chicago, Illinois, Candace Boyle. What did the judges think about Candace? Not. Sorry, Candace. A 20-year-old city employee from Yonkers, New York, Nick Zacateria. And the verdict on Nick? Not. A 25-year-old executive office manager from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Melinda Griffin. What did the judges think? Congratulations. An 18-year-old student from Chicago, Illinois, Philip Tyler. What did the judges think? A 22-year-old bartender from Chicago, Illinois, Lisa Pieper Gertis. What did the judges decide? Hot. Congratulations. A 21-year-old student from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sean Cassidy. Hot. A 19-year-old retail sales associate from Richfield, Minnesota, Ann Swancutt. What did the judges decide about Ann? Not hot. Sorry, Ann, goodbye. A 22-year-old student from Indianapolis, Indiana, Jermaine Johnson. The verdict on Jermaine? He's hot. A 21-year-old flight attendant from Minnetonka, Minnesota, Carrie Jedlicki. Carrie is hot. A 34-year-old real estate developer from Chicago, Illinois, Mel Platsky. Not. A 26-year-old waitress from Palisades Park, New Jersey, Teresa Palladino. What did the judges think about Teresa? A 25-year-old personal trainer from Westwood, New Jersey, Jonathan Weber. What was the word on Jonathan? A 29-year-old podiatrist from Chicago, Illinois, Rebecca Barrel. Not. I'm sorry. An 18-year-old landscaper from Champlin, Minnesota, Bobby Blansky. What's the verdict? Hot. 
A 21-year-old data entry specialist from Calumet City, Illinois, Bettina Betts. Not. A 23-year-old technician from Flushing, Michigan, Aaron Tower. What's it gonna be? Not. A 22-year-old office manager from Cottage Grove, Minnesota, Nikki Kretschmer. What is the verdict? Hot! A 24-year-old consultant from Chicago, Illinois, Ken Kim. What did our judges think? Hot! A 21-year-old waitress from New York, New York, Skylar Collins. What did our judges have to say about Skylar? Not. A 24-year-old substitute teacher from Chicago, Illinois, Roderick McClay. Whoa, with a spin and everything. What's the verdict? Hot! A 24-year-old waitress from New York, New York, Elizabeth Valerio. What did our judges think? Three-year-old personal trainer from Stillwater, Minnesota, Derek Johnson. The verdict on Derek? Not. A 30-year-old attorney from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Christine Law. What did the judges think? with the audience. A 22-year-old student from Des Plaines, Illinois, Frank Lacerdo. What was the final vote on Frank? <laughs> Not. Good night, Frank. A 30-year-old local TV host from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Cherica Penny. <laughs> What's it gonna be? A 22-year-old aspiring model from Rahway, New Jersey, Travis Bullich. Hot! A 23-year-old graduate student from Huntington, New York, Chi-Chi Wadiara. What is the word on Chi-Chi? Hot! Other way, Chi-Chi! A 22-year-old waiter from Streamwood, Illinois, George Petropolis. Not. Oh. A 34-year-old dentist from Aurora, Illinois, Chien Gibson. What's the verdict for Chien? Not. Final competitor, a 24-year-old design engineer from Orland Park, Illinois, Kevin Bessel. What did our judges think? What is it gonna be? Hot! And here they are, the 16 contenders for the title of Sexiest Men and Women in Hot Zone 1. Remember, these 16 people represent the Northeast section of the United States. When we come back, our competitors will give our experts a closer look when they strip down to their bathing suits. Don't go away. Not worth it, you know? Not worth working up, spending all that time and energy for nothing just to get this. I'm just gonna have to pick my, uh, my pride off the floor and Suck it in a little bit and go home, you know? I don't want to cry on your TV. 
But, um, but it's all right. In fact, I know I'm hot. All the guys love me in Chicago. It's the only thing that matters. Welcome back to Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People. Now, during this next round, our experts will evaluate our contestants one by one. By the end of tonight, half will be eliminated, and only eight will remain. And don't forget, immediately following the end of tonight's show, the polls will open, and the power to change the lives of those four men and four women will be placed in your hands, as America casts its vote for Hot Zone 1. What exactly is it that makes a person hot? Well, we are looking for three basic components. Face, body, and overall sex appeal. Our experts will be scoring our competitors on each of those factors using a scale of 1 to 10. So, experts, if you're ready, let's have a look at our first competitor right now. A 25-year-old executive office manager from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Melinda Griffith. Randolph. All right. Well, I'm glad you skipped the Baywatch audition and headed this way. Um, but listen, Baywatch are here. You're going to need to firm that body up just a little bit. I know you guys like these voluptuous packages, but I saw a little too much jiggle. Could you turn around for me, Melinda? Who did the caps? Um, actually, they were bonded by a cosmetic dentist in too Atlanta. Too big. Got to take them down. I think you have a really sultry face, and I actually like your makeup tonight. But I think those teeth are too big. Hey, I just how think about they're some too scores, big. Randolph? I face, think the body. face is a 7.5. I deducted for the teeth. Sorry, but she's got a sultry look. The body, I'm sorry, I gave her a 7.5. She needed to firm it up just a little bit. Overall sex appeal, though, a nine. She's a sexy woman. Rachel, what do you think? I feel you, you've got a great sultry look, as Randolph said. Um, there's something that's just a little bit off with it, whether it's a little hard, I, I'm not quite sure. So I give you a five on the face. Oh, give me a break. And how about a score for the body? The body, I give a, um, a four. But I think overall sex appeal, I think you're very, very sexy and you know how to use your body really, really well. So I give you an 8.5 on that. All right. All right, Lorenzo. Um, I, I give your sex appeal as a 9.9 .9 because of the way you're coming out here, you know. I love your face. I'd like you to take both your hands and just pick up your hair. I want to see those cheekbones. How about a score on the face? That's a 9.5 for me. Wow. It's getting kind of hot in here, OK? That's the idea. So I'm, saving the, the, I'm saving the body for last. It's an 8.7, OK? And, and, and the reason being, you know, there's just a little too much thigh there. Thanks for your scores. Thank you very much. A 21-year-old student from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sean Cassidy. You know, Sean, do you lift weights? <laughs> your face is definitely a, your best feature. I, you know, I'd say about an 8.9 on that face, Let's right there. <laughs> say about, a, about an 8.7 on the body, only because you probably could do a few less bench presses, you know? <laughs> Sex appeal overall, about a 7.5. Thank you. All right, Rachel, what do you think? I think you've got um, great eyes. You've got great face, so I'll give you a 9 there. Your body, you give a 5, because I think you're way too muscular. Like I said, it's too ape gorilla looking. I think it's just too much. Um, I think um, your sex appeal is probably... I would say a seven. Seven for sex appeal. Randolph? And I thought the chicks had big hooters in this show. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is, this is, this is big. How about scores? Yeah, the face, great. 8.5. Body, 7.5. I got to take it off. The skinny legs don't match the, uh, <laughs> the top. Overall, sex appeal, a six. A six. Sean, thank you very much. Thank you. A 22-year-old bartender from Chicago, Illinois, Lisa Pieper Gerdes. Rachel, you're up. 
Um, I think you've got a fantastic face. You're fresh. You're very classic and beautiful. You've got a strong presence. I give you a nine for your face. Your body's awesome. I give you also a nine there, and I give your sex appeal a nine, a nine five. Wow. Randolph, you're up. What do you think? Well, Lisa, you're an absolute angel. In fact, you remind me of a Charlie's angel. <laughs> that 70s kind of Kate Jackson thing, right? Yeah. She's got it going yeah. on. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I think she's got a beautiful body. I, I'm going to give the face a 9. She's a breath of fresh air. The body a 9.9, because .9, there's always room for improvement. Sex appeal, 9.5. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Lorenzo. I'm not feeling a lot of sexual energy. I, I think maybe it's because you might be a little nervous. I'm half naked in front of this audience. <laughs> you got a 9.9 .9 on the face. You're a gorgeous woman. Um, I'd say about a 9.7 on the body and about a 9.0 9 on the sex appeal. Good luck to you. All right, good scores, good luck. Thank you very much. A 22-year-old student from Indianapolis, Indiana, Jermaine Johnson. Randolph, you're up. How you doing, Jermaine? What's going on? How's it going? You got a great body, got a good physique, likes your work. You guys need to work on the legs. It's all about the upper body. We are shooting the full length. Pan down, please. There is nothing wrong with those legs. They're a little skinny for the upper body. Do you agree? Yeah. All right, how about some scores? I'm going to give you a 7.5 on the face. 8.5 on the body, because this chicken legs I had to deduct, because I think your upper body's great. Sex appeal, more personality, 7.5. Good luck. Thank you. All right, Rachel? I think you've got a great face. I give you an 8.5 on the face. Thank you. Um, your body's awesome. You're not too big and buff. You've got, a, you've got a really hot body. You know, so what, the chicken legs. I'm sure you can work that out. Eight. Eight. For the body. Eight for the body, yeah. Um, I give you sex appeal, seven. All right. Thank you. Lorenzo, you got a great face. Uh, 9.0 on the face. Uh, I like your body. Yeah. You're not overbuilt. You look like a natural, a naturally strong man. I'd say about a 9.5 on the body. I'm going to give you an 8.5 on the Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Good scores. Jermaine, thank you very much. Stick around as Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People continues. Welcome back to Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People. All right, let's take a look at our next round of competitors right now. A 21-year-old flight attendant from Middle Tonka, Minnesota, Kelly Jenny. Carrie, is there anything you would like to say to our experts? Yeah, I would just like to say, if you're looking for somebody natural, here I am. Randolph, there she is. So you're all natural, huh? Yeah, it's all yeah. real. Yeah, it's all real. Well, that, <laughs> this, that looks good. Yeah, turn around. Let's see the all natural. Very nice, Carrie. You have a beautiful face. I'm, I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's all good. 9.5 for the face, body 9.5, sex appeal 9. Oh, thank you. Nice. Rachel, how about you? Hey, Carrie. Um, I also think you have a beautiful face. I think you've got brilliant eyes. Um, I give you a 9 there. Your body, you are very thin, but you look great. You carry it well. Um, I give you an 8 there. I also give you a 9.8 for a um, sex appeal. Lorenzo, you and the laser pointer are up. Hi, Kiri. Hi, how are you doing? Can you just put your legs together, like put your heels together? Oh, no, here you go. <laughs> just stand towards me, just face me. Okay. Put your heels together for me, Carrie, will you? Here we go. Okay. Wait, 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 uh, Lorenzo, what do you I got have? A I got a tip for you. Squeeze this, those thighs really tight. tight. No, listen, guys, okay? That is just really gnarly. And, like, and I'll tell you, you know, Carrie, uh, you got a 9.5 on the body for me because at some point between the hip and the knee, your legs have to touch. There's just too big of a gap in there. And that's okay. our anatomy lesson for the day. Lorenzo is entitled to his opinion. 
Lorenzo, how about a score for the face and sex appeal? There's a 9.8 on the face. You're gorgeous. Your sex appeal is a 9.9. Thank you. Good score. A 25-year-old personal trainer from Westwood, New Jersey, Jonathan Weber. All right, Lorenzo, I want everybody at home to see what perfect abs look like right there. It's about... John, you got a 10 for the body because you're not overdone. Perfect uh, body. You got a great face, 9.8 in the face. And you're, you know, you're the real deal, brother. I give you like a 9.5 on the sex appeal. Okay. Hi, Jonathan. I uh, think that your face is great because it's not like, it's a good looking face, but it, um, some of the guys up there have been like too pretty and um, it has something about it. So I think give you a 9.5 for that. That's I think your body's great. I give you a 9.8 for your body, and sex appeal, I give you a 9.5. Um, a Randolph, it's to you. Um, I'm going to give you an 8.5 on the face. I'm going to uh, uh, take a deduction on the body, though, 9.5. You would have had a 10, but I don't like the shaving. And sex appeal, a 9. You got it going on. Cool. Yeah. All right. A 26-year-old waitress from Palisades Park, New Jersey, Teresa Palladino. Rachel, you're up. Your, your face um, is, I give, a 7.5. I think with dark hair, it, and you need to wear more makeup, unfortunately. Um, your body, I give a, um, a 6. It's just too skinny as far as I'm concerned. I think just Come because... On. I give you about a six um, in sex appeal. It's true. You do have a rather thin body, but it's it's a pretty body, but it is very dancery, and that's just what it is. And you know what? You might have wanted to stuff those soft gels in your bra <laughs> before you came out here. I At least for these people. All natural. That's what I want to be. Um, I'm going to give your face a 7.9. I'm going to give your body a... 7.5 and overall sex appeal a six all right down to lorenzo um you got a great face about a 9.0 on the face uh, about a 7.0 on the body and because you're so fresh and so natural and very comfortable up there i'm going to give you an 8.0 on the on the sex appeal all right Teresa, thank you very much an 18-year-old landscaper from Chicklin, Minnesota, Bobby Blansky. All right, Lorenzo. About an 8.0 on the body, okay? The, the attitude needs to improve. You need to come out here and own the stage to get that sex appeal higher. So about 7.0 on the sex appeal. But you got a great face, 9.5 on the face. Thank you. All right, Randolph. Uh, I've got to take some deductions on the body because you're not owning it. So I'm going to give you an 8 on the body. Um, your face, keep smiling. Yeah, it, keep, it draws the attention up from the tapping feet. And, um, <laughs> and uh, face 7.5, sex appeal 5. Rachel, I hear you don't like pretty faces. Well, how do you handle your own? That just got you some points. I will be gracious and ladylike and say that I give you your face is a 9. Your body is a 9.5. And your sex appeal is 2. Oh. Thank you very much. Another round of competitors goes before our experts when Are You Hot? The search for America's sexiest people continues. for America's sexiest people. Experts, you ready to go? Yep. All right, let's get a look at our next competitor right now. A 22-year-old office manager from Cottage Grove, Minnesota, Nikki Kretschmer. Randolph, you're up. All I can say is there are some happy spandex on that stage tonight. <laughs> I'm going to give the face a nine. I'm going to give the body a nine. And I'm going straight down. Sex appeal, nine. Rachel. I 
also agree. I think your face is, is really fresh and very pretty. I think your body is awesome. I think it's really voluptuous and um, it's not too bird-like or skinny-like. I, I give that a 9.8. I give your face an 8.9 and I give your overall sexual appeal a 9.8. Lorenzo, right, I'm going to introduce my flaw finder, okay? Turn around one more time. Now, I'm not necessarily pointing at any flaws. I'm pointing right now at perfection. I love this. Um, I give your body a 9.0. Okay? Your, your face, your face, Nikki, is, is almost flawless. About a 9.5 on the face. And you're very appealing. I, I'll give you a 9.8 on sex appeal. Yeah. Nikki, thank you very much. A 24-year-old consultant from Chicago, Illinois, Ken Kidd. Lorenzo, we're going to start with you. Hey, Ken, how's it going, man? It's going good. Um, I kind of have a problem with your hair. I, it's bothering me. I wish you'd just pull it back, comb it back, because you got a great face and a great smile. You know, you should show it off. 9.1 on the face. Um, overall, great symmetry. I love your eyes. It's, they're, they're, they're piercing, and, and there's a sweetness behind them, which is very attractive. Give me about a 9.8 on the body. About a 9.0 on the sex appeal. Good job. All right, Rachel, it's to you. I give you a nine in the face. You've got great bone structure. Everything's, like, in, in proportion. Your body, I think, is very surfer-like, and it looks good. I give that a nine nine, and I say sex appeal wow. is a seven five. Randolph, JG, uh, Ken, um, let that hair come back down in your face a bit. <laughs> I absolutely love your hairstyle. I think it's got attitude, it's got fashion, and it's who you are. Fantastic looking. 8.5 for the face, 8.5 for the body. Sex appeal 7.0. All right. Thank you very much. A 24-year-old waitress from New York, New York, Elizabeth Valerio. Rachel, she's ready. Are you? Okay. You've got, you've got a great face. There's something that's a little bit hard, and there's something about the lip area that I'm not sure about. It's just, it's too much. It's all natural. Yeah. So I give your face a five. I give your body a nine, because I think you're very sexy body. Not a popular score. I give your body a nine because I think it's very sexy and very voluptuous and that should be encouraged more right now. I think, funnily enough, and I think you guys will take back your booing now, is that your overall sexual appeal is a 9.9 .9 because your whole package, you know how to work it and you know how to use it. All right, Randolph. All right. I do think you have a very voluptuous face, and I think it's uh, very sultry, and I think the Latin thing is really happening. Eight for the face, eight Thank for the body, you. and nine for the sex appeal. Thank you. Lorenzo, it's all you. I, you know, I think your face is absolutely perfect. Oh, you? I give you a nine for your face. Your body, you know, your face and your personality make up for that extra seven to ten pounds Gracias. you can probably get rid of. But I'm going to give you an 8.8 .8 for your body. Gracias. And your sex appeal speaks volumes. I give you a 9.8 on sex appeal. Gracias. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank you. A 24-year-old substitute teacher from Chicago, Illinois, Roderick McClain. something to say to our experts. Give me the chance to go against everybody in America so I can be one of the hottest people in all of this place. Give me that chance. Give me that chance. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Put me against anybody in America. Randolph. Anybody. I'll win it. We're going to start ahead. with you. Rip what do you me. think? Ask me whatever. What's up with the teddy bear? Man, hey, like I said, somebody has to have everybody's back. My mom couldn't be here, so I got to have my back with somebody. So, hey. Let's get down to it. Pull back the hair for me. Let's see the face. You know, you got a great face. You got a really... 
Good face. The body's okay. It's it's you know it's 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 an average body. Women don't like them big muscular people. Y'all like that slim and waist, cute in the face. Yeah, it's a, it's an average body. So I'm gonna give you an 8.5 for the face. I'm gonna give you a seven for the body and overall sex appeal. I'm gonna take some deductions for that over attitude and the teddy bear's gotta go. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give That's you cool. a That's cool. seven for sex appeal. All right, Rachel, you're up. I love your hair. It's really crazy and cool. It's awesome. <laughs> It's really cool. I think you stand still a minute. Um, stay there. You got a really cute um, smile. You're, you got a really lovely face. I'd give that an eight. I give your body also an eight, um, but I give you an overall seven in sex appeal. I just, I adore you and I think you're really edgy and awesome. But yeah. That's cool. All right. Lorenzo, the truth of it is that, you know, your face is fantastic. I'd say you about nine point on the face, brother. Thank you. Great smile. Great smile. When you smile, everything lights up. You know, got about a 9.3 on the body. And overall sex appeal, because you're such an appealing young man, I'd say about a 9.5. Thank Those you, are some thank good you, scores. Thank you, thank you. Roderick, thank you very much. Don't forget, once our experts have made their final decisions, our contestants' fates will be placed in your hands. At the end of the show, just go to abc.com, keyword hot, and let us know which man and which woman you think are sexy enough to become our Hot Zone 1 semi-finalists. Remember, the polls won't open till the end of the show, so stick around as Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People continues. to Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People. Experts, here comes our next competitor right now. A 30-year-old local TV host from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Cherica Penny. Cherica, is there anything you would like to say to our experts? Actually, there is. See, um, people think I'm just sweet, but I'm actually really, really naughty. Oh. a 9.5 because it really is very sweet body nine and overall sex appeal 8.5 Rachel I'm gonna give you a um, 9.5 for your body I think you've got a really beautiful um, angelic face I think you're completely in proportion and I give you a 9.8 and I also think your sex appeal is, is a 9 Lorenzo I love your energy. You have a, a great spirit. I'll give you about a 9.5 for your face. Thank you. About a 9.0 for sexual energy. Because you just have it coming all out. Uh -huh. but, I try. But I got to deduct some points for the body. Because whether it's natural or not, it's too thin. Okay? 7.0 on the body. Jerrica, <laughs> thank you very much. A 22-year-old aspiring model from Rahway, New Jersey, Travis Bullish. Rachel, you're up. Okay, um, I think I give your body a nine. Um, your face actually comes up really good on TV, so I'd have to give you an eight for your face, eight five for your face, and overall sexuality, I give you an eight. What is it about the overall sexuality? Can I do something to kind of... <laughs> Should I give him another point for that? I'll give you a nine for sexual appeal. <laughs> he went oh. for it. All right, Lorenzo, I'm going to give your body a ten, Travis. Thank you. Um, got a good face, too. Good, strong face. Like, like the structure, it's all in proportion. About a 9.5 in the face. And, you know... I, I, I like I like your attitude. So about a 9.0 on sex appeal. Good going, man. Randolph, I gotta agree with my uh, co-experts here. I think the face is strong. I'm gonna give you a 10 on the face. I'm reminded of an Elvis. Elvis. I'm gonna give you a 9.9 .9 on the body because I I you know there's always room for improvement. 
And on the sex appeal, I'm going to give you a nine. Thank you very much. Good scores. Thank you very much. A 23-year-old graduate student from Huntington, New York, Chi-Chi Wadiara. All right, Rachel, let's start with you. Um, I give your face a 9-9. Nine -nine. Yeah. You've got a beautiful face, beautiful hair. Bo body, I give you a 7-5. Um, and overall sex appeal, I give you a 9. All right, Randolph, you're up. You're a very pretty girl. Your, your, your body is just too thin to, to carry the sex appeal. Uh, and I don't know what you can do and hit, hit McDonald's and get those cheeseburgers. I mean, I, you know. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. But listen, it's all good. I'm giving your face an 8.5. The body is 7.5. But you've got sex appeal. Eight. I love your face. Uh, you're, you're a beautiful, beautiful woman. I, I'd say about 9.3 on the face. Okay? Uh, seven on the body. Okay? Don't skip any more meals. About, a, about an 8.9 8 for the sex appeal. For Chi Chi. Okay? All right, Chi Chi, thank you very much. Our final competitor. A 24-year-old design engineer from Orland Park, Illinois, Kevin Bessel. All right, Randolph, what do you think? Let's get down to business. Close up, open your mouth. Close up on the teeth, right side. Wider, 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 yeah, wider, 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 wider. Open your mouth. I need to see the teeth. Oh, you got a good face, but you need to get your teeth fixed. Oh, I'm going to give the face an 8, fix the teeth. The body a 9, and the sex appeal a 7. I agree. All right, Rachel? Um, I think you've um, got a great face. I think um, I agree with Randolph about your teeth. Um, I also give you an 8. I give you an 8.9 for your body because I feel like you're a little bit too big. Um, and sex appeal, I also give you a 7. All right, Lorenzo. You got a good body. Um, as a matter of fact, it's, it's probably one of the better ones I've seen today. I'd say about 9.5 on the body. Okay. Um, you got a good face, too. I mean, I like the strength in your face. Your jaw's a little lantern-like. It's a little, a little long in the jaw, but about a 9.5 on the, on the face, okay? Um, about an 8.5 on sex appeal. Experts, thank you for your scores. All right, let's get one more look at them side by side. The 16 contenders for the title of Sexiest Men and Women in Hot Zone 1. The experts will now review their scores, and when we come back, eight of you will be eliminated as the final results are revealed. Find out who gets cut and who makes the cut as Are You Hot? The Search for America's Sexiest People continues. search for America's sexiest people. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. Our experts have submitted their scores, and eight of our contestants are about to move one step closer to realizing their dream of becoming America's sexiest people. Who will be eliminated, and which four men and four women have earned the right to face America's vote for their chance to advance to the semifinals? Let's find out. For the men, Jonathan Weber. You are hot. Congratulations. Ken Kim. Congratulations. You're moving on. Kevin Bessel. You're moving on. And our final male competitor to move on. Travis Bullich. Congratulations, you are hot. And 
for the women. Kerry Jedlicky, you are hot. Lisa Pieper Gertis, you are moving on. Nikki Kretschmer, you are moving on. Contestant moving on, Cherica Penny. You are high. Congratulations. For the rest of you, I'm very sorry you are not hot enough to continue. Please exit the stage. And here they are, America, our top eight competitors from Hot Zone One. Jonathan. Kevin and Travis and our women Carrie Lisa Nikki and Cherica now the power to control their destinies is in your hands go to abc.com keyword hot and vote for your favorite male and female contestant the voting is open now until 3 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time. Once again, abc.com, keyword hot. Next week, we'll discover which two women and which two men receive the most votes, and we'll go on to represent Hot Zone 1 in the semifinals. We'll also find out how the Northeast stacks up against Atlanta, Miami, and the rest of the Southeast as we move on to Hot Zone 2, where our experts will give us the answer to that burning question, are you hot? Good night, everybody. Talk about hot. Christina Aguilera like you've never seen. 2020 ABC Tomorrow, 10, 9 Central. feels terrible to not win. I hate losing. I'm not a loser. I hate losing. I'm still wondering why I was cut. <laughs> Rachel, she went from a beautiful woman, and all I can say is she gets a fat zero in a... I felt pretty comfortable up until they started talking about my teeth. <laughs> Even the guys were saying, you know, that I had the best body and stuff. I'm glad I got this far. But I guess, you know, this just wasn't for me. It's a show, though. You know, you can't win everything, so that's that.